second. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. In my previous videos, we have already worked on the HC05 Bluetooth module with Arduino board. And also we have done some home automation projects. In today's video, we'll be also working on the Bluetooth module, but not with the conventional or the classic HC05 module. We'll be using this RYBG211 Lite advanced Bluetooth module from Reax. Thanks to Reax Technologies for sending this component. They are the IoT and wireless solution providers and also they have certain wireless and IoT modules like Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, NFC, RFID, LoRa and other wide range of products. So you can explore their website the link will be provided in the description box. It is also called BLE or Bluetooth Low Energy. Coming to its features, it supports Bluetooth version 5.1, consumes very less power in comparison with the classic Bluetooth modules. It supports broadcast communication so you can easily pair eight devices at a time this can be also controlled using ad commands it also has a small pcb integrated antenna which supports long range it finds lot of applications in different domains like home automation remote monitoring security and tracking devices, healthcare and fitness. Moving on to the project, we'll try to control the LED bulb using the smartphone. And also at the end of this video, we'll try to check from how far it communicates. The components I'm using are Arduino Uno board, RYBG211 Lite BLE module, LED bulb, one 4.7 kilo ohm and one 10 kilo ohm resistors, breadboard and some jumper wires. Moving on to the connections, since the maximum operating voltage is 3.8 volts, I'll be connecting the VDD pin to Arduino 3.3 volts and the ground pin to Arduino ground. The TX pin of the module goes to Arduino digital pin 10. The RX pin of the module is connected to Arduino digital pin 11 along with the resistor voltage divider combination. Since our BLE module operating voltage is 3.8 volts, we have to convert the logic high 5 volt of the Arduino board to logic high 3.3 volts. So if you have any confusions with respect to circuit, you can get the download link from the description box. Next, I'm connecting the LED anode to Arduino digital pin 13 and LED cathode to Arduino ground. Moving on to the code, in my previous Bluetooth tutorial, I have already explained the code line by line. So here, again the code remains almost same. I'll just go through in brief. We have included the software serial library and defined the RX and TX pins 10 and 11. You can also use the default RX and TX pins 0 and 1. Also LED declared to digital pin 13. So one car variable to store the data received on the serial. So this is the object of class software serial. And here we are passing 
the rx and tx pin as argument in the setup section initializing the serial communication with baud rate 9600 and setting the pin modes for all three pins in the loop using the while condition we are continuously checking whether any data is coming in the serial buffer if some data is available then we are reading and storing in this variable and also printing it on the serial monitor next simple if statements to check the data received so if the data coming is a then we are switching on the LED using digital write function similarly if the data received is B then switching off the LED with the same digital write function that's it the code connect your Arduino board from the tools select the board and appropriate COM port and click on upload Moving on to the app configuration, we cannot use the apps which we have used in our previous tutorial. Since BLE uses different protocols, we have to use the BLE specific applications. After trying out different apps available on the Play Store, I found one of the app called BLE Terminal, which works fine and also it has options to configure the buttons. In the Play Store, you have to search for BLE terminal and this is the app we have to install once we open it asks for some permissions you have to allow them before starting with the app we have to connect the BLE module with our smartphone Bluetooth for that turn on Bluetooth and go to Bluetooth settings Pair new device. You get this RYBG module. Just pair it. Once you're done, go back to the application. Since it uses Bluetooth 5.1, we also need to turn on location. So I'm turning it on. Next, click on this search button and again search here. You can see the RYBG module listed here and select that and click on connect. Once it's connected, you have to select service. We get a lot of options here. For our BLE module, we have to select this particular UUID character 6 and enable read write and save and exit. We are done with the basic configurations. Now we have to add values to the buttons. Go to navigation and choose this smart button. For button one, I'm assigning the text as A. And similarly for button two, text as B. And the same values we have already used in our code to switch on and off the LEDs. Once I press the button here, it also shows the values in the console. If I press button 1, the LED is turning on and for button 2, it's turning off. Also, you can send the text manually from this text box. In a similar way, you can extend this project referring to our previous Bluetooth tutorials and interface any other devices. I have kept this module and the Arduino board at the fourth floor of the building and trying to control the LED from the ground floor. So it's able to communicate 
without any issues. If I start walking away from the building, it still communicates. And now I'm not able to control the LED. And this is where the position it stopped communicating. If I come back again inside the range, then it automatically gets connected. So from this, you can get the rough idea on the approximate range. That's all for this video guys. If you have any doubts, let me know in the comment section below. For code and circuit, the link is provided in the description box. And also don't forget to explore the Reacts website for interesting products. Thank you for watching. I'll be back in the next interesting one.